This is gonna be crazy. That's beautiful, bro. My head is spinning round and round Cause my follower count is going down And my talent alone can't get the clout So what am I supposed to do now? And I know just how this might go My reputation so poison But it's better than yours is what is up everybody welcome back to the channel my name is kid vision we are back with some new quad deca finally i've been looking forward to this for a very long time this dropped when i was at work today and it has taken me so much constraint to not listen to it or watch the video so leave a like i've been reading the comments though um that is the one thing i did i read the comments and uh the replies under his tweet for it and people say People are holding it in pretty high regard, a little bit higher than Sisyphus, some some say. So with that in mind, um, it's also six minutes, so I don't think it's going to be just a banger track. This is the lead single off the album. I think it's going to be super cinematic. Uh, there's going to be a hidden meaning or something in the video. The video looked, uh, I saw the teaser for it, looked... Uh, pretty damn cool so I'm not gonna waste your time let's get right into it like subscribe if you like this type of music I react to a lot of it so subscribe um, trying to hit 500 subscribers think my channel is a bit underrated still so hit that subscribe button all right let's go I'll turn it up a lot in my headphones here cassette <clears throat> Oh damn, you think that's him as a kid? Are those real videos from when he was a kid? That's such a dope outfit. <laughs> this is gonna be crazy. That's beautiful, bro. I like the lyrics at the bottom too. Super clean. Woo. The drums like only slightly came in. Like they eased their way in there. This video is nuts. Damn. I thought he was flipping. <laughs> I thought he was giving us the bird. Birthday candles. Okay. Okay, hold up. So I've been trying to catch like the concept of the song, right? Like the lyrics. And it's a whole lot of like birth themed lyrics, like birthday, birthday candle. Man, I want to say like he's relating this to a relationship and he's saying how he has all this experience. I don't know if he's relating to it to a relationship or not or like music. Um, it could be either or, I guess. But I'm going to try to pick up on it a little more. But right now, not... Not sure what the lyrics are about or if there's a bigger theme or not. Yeah, the umbilical cord lyric. But what's it a metaphor for? Damn, he unraveled that shit. What does that mean? When who went away? Lying about what? Ooh, it is building. Lying. Ooh. 
Since what? Who? Damn. Oh, there was a little house there. Was that symbol down there always a house? He's in one of those tiny homes. Wait, what did that say? Hold up. You want her, you need her. So I'm just gonna assume it's about a generic relationship. Like, he keeps using the word you. I'm just gonna assume it was a past relationship or something. <clears throat> Doggy. I wish I let that this video is so like vintage, you know? Sounds like a toxic relationship. I mean, he could be talking about his parents, too. Did someone pass away in his life? It could be so many things, bro. Very repetitive, though. Wow. What the hell? So many houses. He referenced that. So many houses. Oh! It's just gonna say album coming soon or something. Oh wow. Oh, I would have never guessed that. <laughs> it's gonna be like a year again. <laughs> Oh, John Denton already Put it got one. He's back. Shout out John Denton. I didn't mean to start that. But um anyway, anyway, holy shit. Um that's a lot to take in like visually and like audibly. Um I don't think that was even as close to how good Sisyphus was. Um I'm just keeping it real. I'm I might seem like I like everything I react to because, I mean, I only do videos on artists I enjoy on this channel, pretty much. Like, for the most part. Um, but I'll keep it real if I don't like something. Um, I think Sisyphus was a whole lot better than that. Like, a whole nother level just with, like, the catchiness and the versatility in the song and the production. The production was, like pretty up to par with Sisyphus, I think. Um, and I'm just co comparing it to Sisyphus because it's the lead single off of his album, so that's pretty much, and it does have so, like a similar feel, but um, something that dragged it down was the repetitive lyrics. Um, they were like super generic. Um, I didn't exactly know what it was about, although I had a lot of ideas, as you could tell. It was just kind of ongoing, like super easy to listen to. Uh, for one like I could just put that on and feel my soul leaving my body <laughs> you know um, but like I'm not gonna have that stuck in my head um, there's no like heavy hitting parts in my opinion it just like I mean I guess you can argue like that whole middle to end section was the heavy hitting part but it just slowly like evolutionized you know uh, you know what I mean but uh yeah that kind of summarized my thoughts on that regardless i'm probably gonna listen to that like <laughs> a ridiculous amount uh because i do want to understand it and that video especially i didn't touch on that enough um that video was so beautiful like really well done super high quality good editing and good um like lighting and quality in general um and I feel like there's a bunch of hidden meanings. So 
after this, I'm probably going to uh, do some research myself. So, I mean, feel free to comment stuff uh, you learned about the video down below. But I will probably learn it by the time you get to the comments. So, regardless, I will reply to all your comments. So, um, yeah. Uh, I do this every Friday, guys. Uh, this was a special Monday video for once. But I react to new music on Fridays. So, hit subscribe. And I will see you guys on Friday. Alright? Peace.